what's going on, beautiful people? It is I, your sister from another Mr. Thrifting Thick Chick. And girl, yes, um, you can see the title of this video. We have a hurl going on. But I know some of y'all might be looking at your girl lipstick in yourself. You got to tell me what the hell you rocking on your lips. Because I ain't going to lie. I would want to know, okay? I would want to know. And you can probably tell from the title exactly what this lippy is. But I picked up a couple of lippies from ColourPop Cosmetics. If you guys do not know who ColourPop is, you've probably been living on the rock. Especially if you are part of the beauty community here on YouTube. Of course, I'm always last to the game when it comes to any of this, you know, beauty related stuff. But you guys know that I am trying to up my um, lippy collection, my makeup collection, all that good stuff. So I decided to go on the ColourPop website and pick up me a couple of these lippies and I am not disappointed. Let me just tell you that right here, right now. Now we will be doing swatches. They won't be lip swatches because I attempted to do that earlier. I put on this one right here and I'm going to tell you what color this is in a second. I put on this one right here and I put on another one of the colors and I tried to, you know, continue to do the swatches. But my lips just ain't built for the lip swatch thing, especially not with these colors because when they say they have staying power, boo. These lipsticks have staying power. And what I mean by staying power is they ain't going nowhere. And this is 100% not sponsored. Everything that I purchased that I'm going to be showing you guys, I purchased with my own money. Okay, so they didn't send me none of this stuff. I bought this stuff with my own money. Okay, but for those of you that want to um, see the colors that I purchased, continue to watch this here particular video. And we're going to go ahead and get um, into the meat and potatoes of this here particular hurl. And we, we also got a couple of other things that we're going to be showing off as well. Now, what I am wearing on my lips, I'm going to start with what I'm wearing on my lips. What I am wearing on my lips right now is called um, Bedazzled. This is Bedazzled right here that I am wearing on my lips. And I absolutely love it. You ladies probably know that I love my purples and things like that. I'm not really a, a red girl, even though I have worn a red lippy before on my daily vlog channel. For those of you that are not following my daily vlog channel, head on over to Thick Chick Vlogs. Um, the link will be down in the description box. I had on a couple of red lippies a couple of times before. But I am a purple girl all day long. Um, and this is the color that I have on my lips right here. Like I said, and it is called Bedazzled. I will put Bedazzled on my hand so you guys can see it swatched as well. Now, uh, with the ColourPop lippies, they are ultra matte. And when I say they are ultra matte, they are ultra matte. So you're, you, you definitely need to make sure that you moisturize before um, because they will have your lips, you know, kind of really, really dry if you don't moisturize before. And this is bedazzled right here on my hand swatched okay now um i'm going to move on to the next darkest color that i got which is this one right here and it is called guess now yes this is guess now on my daily blog channel as well a lot of you ladies were asking what the lippy i was wearing in my um in the video where i reviewed the um bmas and what i was wearing in that video was vamp it up but a lot of you ladies said you have a hard time finding vamp it up by wet and wild but this okay let me tell y'all something this is a perfect dupe for vamp it up by wet and wild and i have vamp it up right here so i'm going to swatch this one right here and i'm also going to swatch vamp it up um next to it okay so this is guess right here okay this is guess right here okay and i'm going to swatch vamp it up and when i say these are some gorgeous colors really really gorgeous colors now this is vamp it up by wet and wild and i'm gonna swatch vamp it up right next to guess okay for those of you who can't find it and you want to have that uh look that is vamp it up by wet and wild right there and that is guess um vamp it up is a little bit lighter than guess but it's still almost a perfect dupe so if you want that color and you're you just can't find vamp it up definitely pick up um guess by uh color pop you will not be disappointed i promise you that Okay, now we're going to move into a little bit of lighter colors. This one right here is called Drive-In. It is another purple. Like I told you, ladies, I, I that's what I do. I do my purples and things like that. I love purple lippies. Um, but like I said, again, this one is called Drive-In, and I will swatch this one as well for you, ladies. Okay. All right, this is Drive-In. Drive-In is right there on the top. Now, I will say, if you are going to wear these lippies be sure okay that you want some staying power i had to literally scrub my lips a lot to get those last two lippies off because i tried this one first guess and then i tried the next one that i'm going to show you ladies and i my lips just could not take it no more and the last one that i stopped on with this one right here so 
yeah these are these definitely have staying power if you are looking for ultra matte lippies that have staying power let me tell you that right here right now the next one that i have is called tule i hope i know i'm probably mispronouncing that but it's t-u-l-l-e -L -E. you probably can't see it but it's t-u-l-l-e -L -E. and it's this pretty brown sort of color really really great for the fall um so i definitely had to pick that one up okay and i'm gonna swatch it right there and it's almost it's a little bit lighter than my skin complexion and I think it is gorgeous. This is Thule right here. Absolutely adorable. And as you can see, they are already, already, you know, starting to turn matte. They do take probably about a minute or two to turn completely ultra matte. But um, when they do, baby, we're talking about some staying power. I just can't stress that enough. The next one that I have is almost identical to um, Drive In. And it is called Lychee. This is lychee right here, and I'm, I'm going to swatch it above drive-in so you guys can see the difference in the colors. And that is lychee right there, which is only a little bit dark, darker than drive-in. Not very much, but it is a little bit darker than drive-in. I, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but um, yes, this is lychee right here, and that is drive-in. As you can see, drive-in is, is a little bit lighter than the lychee absolutely adorable colors i will be um i'm going to show you guys exactly how um this stuff does not transfer at all so like i said i cannot stress enough if you are if you're not looking for something that's gonna you know stay on your lips for hours on end because i've had this on for a little over an hour now if you're not looking for something to stay on your lips for an extended period of time these are not the lippies for you but if you're looking for something with staying power and you're looking for something that is ultra matte <laughs> you definitely will probably want to go and check out color pop um and I'll, I'll leave their link and everything in the description box. Again, this is not sponsored. They did not send me this stuff for free or anything like that. This is 100% my own um, opinion, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the same thing. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on my hand. Nothing on my hand. This stuff has complete staying power. Let me get a little bit closer. Can you guys see that? Mm-hmm. Your girl is rocking the hell out of this. Um, What the hell is the name of it? Let me get it again, girl, because I don't want to jack it up, okay? This is bedazzled that I'm wearing on my lips. Okay, girl, bedazzled. This reminds me so much of the lippy that I wanted to get from MAC. I cannot think of the name of it right off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure somebody watching this is like, girl, girl, this is the name of it. This is the name of it. Leave it down in the comment section below. But the purple lippy that MAC came out with, um, oh my God, what is it called? I can't think of it. But I wanted that lippy so bad, but I ended up, I don't, I don't know why I didn't get it because I could have got it if I wanted it. But um, this right here gives me my fix definitely of that um, lippy. So, Shout out to ColourPop Cosmetics. And another thing that I really, really love about ColourPop, look at this. I mean, okay, this is a little, they send you um, some instructions and things like that, but they also send you these little really cute cards and things. And of course it says thank you. But what I absolutely love about that is that they send you your own little personalized message on the cards. Everybody knows that my name is Tawana. Okay, if you haven't followed me on my Facebook page, you probably wouldn't know that. Facebook has some new little situation going on to where they made everybody. If you, if you have an alias name, eventually they're going to make you change it or you're going to have to delete your whole account. There's no getting around it. But they put their own little personalized, personalized message on here. And this one says, Hi, Tawana. It says, Others like paper or scissors, but we choose to rock with you and it says xoxo color pop and i think that is absolutely adorbs and like i said they also send you this little card right here that says um ultra matte color pop and it sends you um the applications tips applications the application tips and tricks here on the back i um, mean it just tells you really i'm just gonna drop stuff like that and it just tells you to make sure your lips are bare and dry which yes like i said you need to make sure your lips are bare and dry but i, I would still recommend you to put some sort of a um, moisturizer underneath your lips, definitely, okay? So, um, yeah, and they give you a couple of other tips as well on the back of here. So, shout out to ColourPop for that right there. And as you can see, I do have some um, uh, oil on the back of my hand. And when I kiss my hand, it's starting to lift just a little bit. So, yeah, but that's my own fault because I had oil on the back of my hand but anyway I am going to show you guys a couple of other things that um, I purchased uh, which are I told you guys I was eventually going to do a um, a nail polish collection 
situation but i'm going to show you guys the last few nail polishes that i recently picked up from my um, my local beauty supply store I, don't, I think i mentioned this a lot on my daily vlog channel sometimes people ask me what type of nail polishes that i wear um and i of course i just took my polishes off my nails and let me remind you guys well not remind let me uh say this um red nail polish is hell to come off your nails girl but um, I'm going to show you guys the last nail polishes that I picked up from my local beauty supply store. I am absolutely in love with the Nika K polishes. So shout out to Nika K, okay? But the first one that I picked up is this red color right here. And it is called True Red. Absolutely love this color. True Red. The next color that I picked up is this one right here. And it's called Pastel Lavender. Really, really pretty pink color. Love that one as well. The next one that I picked up is called Green Blue. This really, really pretty um, blue color. The next one that I picked up is called... What is this called? Aqua Verde. Aqua Verde. Like I said, all of these are Nicole K polishes. The next one is called um, Cerise. Really, really pink, pretty pink color. The next one is called Cotton Candy. Now, I've used this one several times. Cotton Candy. Now, I will say they are very um, sheer, so you do have to put on multiple coats in order to get the perfect um, shade, okay? The next one that I picked up is, um, well, I do have two more, Nika, okay? I have a Caribbean Green, which is this color right here. Caribbean Green, gorgeous color. The next one that I have is called Blue Angel, and this is a glittery blue where you can, you know, if you have on, just say, um, a blue polish and you want to put on some blue um, glitters or whatever, you can use that. Now, I did go into the um, dollar store and I picked up a couple of the um, gel polishes from out of the dollar store because, you know, sometimes you want that gel look without the fuss of actually having to sit underneath the light and all that good stuff, okay? So... I'm definitely going to show you guys those in a second. But from the beauty supply store as well, I also picked up this one right here. And I cannot remember the name of this person. It does have a J on it. I forgot the name. It, it was right there clearly, clear as day on the display. But I missed it. But um, this is called um, just a neon green. And I actually wore this in one of my videos over on my daily vlog channel if you guys want to see it. I think I probably made a video on with it on over here. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so. But on to the gel polishes that I picked up. This is the first one right here. It is a hot pink, and I know, um, well, it's probably showing the true color now. It is a hot pink color, and it is in the color Picnic Day. The next one is this really, really pretty um, color right here, and it's called Jimmy's Purple. Really cute. Like I said, all of these are neons, and they are um, gel polishes. And this one is called Bora Bora, and it is a orange color really really vibrant orange color so I absolutely adore that as well now we're gonna move on to the piece de resistance I do do I want to go ahead let me go ahead and cover this back up because it's starting to get on my nerves girl starting to get on my nerves girl and I am gonna let it dry because it does take a second to dry because it's going to get on my nerves. I have OCD and I ain't got time to be around here letting it look all blotchy and shit. So, mm-hmm. I mean, you don't have to fan it, but I'm doing it because I'm trying to speed up this damn video. Because I know y'all probably be getting bored by my ass just sitting there rambling on and talking shit. But anyway, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys, I went to the thrift store um, in the last of my... Uh, in the last of my... In a couple of my last thrifting videos, I picked up a couple of things that I probably didn't show you guys on camera. Or, um, as a matter of fact, one of the things um, I talked about on my daily vlog channel as well, where I was telling you the girl tried me over these boots, she's going to tell me she hid the boots on the wall, okay? She told me she hid the boots on the wall, and she was going to buy them when she got out of work. And I'm thinking to myself, what are you telling me for, boo? What are you telling me for? Am I supposed to uh, feel sorry for you and give them back to you because you claim that you hid them? And number one, when I did find them, they were not on the wall. They were in their correct place. They were by the shoe. They were in the shoe section. So maybe one of the workers who um, put the, sh the the items and things out on the floor, maybe they saw you trying to hide some shit and put it back where it, in its rightful place, okay? But I'm going to show you two of these pair of shoes that I picked up from the thrift store. 
and um, they're going to be perfect for the fall and the winter. So I'm really, really excited about these. The first pair of shoes that I got are these really, really gorgeous boots. Absolutely love these boots right here. Um, I think I paid, matter of fact, I think the tag is still on them somewhere. Um, I don't remember. I think I paid like $4. It, it was no more than $4 for these boots right here. Absolutely gorgeous boots. Nothing wrong with them at all. I absolutely love the suede detailing right there. And I love the lacy um, stri straps right there in the front. I think these are ab absolutely gorgeous. Now, the next shoes that I got, these are the shoes that the girl was going to just try to regulate on me on. These doggone Janet Jackson boots right here, girl. I mean, she was mad. She was pressed by these shoes. But, I mean, guess what? They was in my size. And I absolutely adored them. So, of course, they came home with your girl. And they are these shoes right here. And these were exactly, I think I paid like four bucks for these. Or, I know they were 50% off. But I think I paid like four bucks for these shoes right here. So, shout out to the thrift store for these awesome and amazing deals. I will be doing more thrift curls in the near future. Um, I do have, you guys, for those of you that like these haul videos and things like that. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all the 100% truth. I have like... 20 something lippies that are coming in the mail that are ultra matte matte whatever i'm definitely going to be doing a haul on those things that's why i don't like sitting up late at night um online things because i see so many awesome and amazing things that are affordable and then i'll be sitting in the bed watching laying in the bed watching um youtube videos of other people who have all these new things that are coming out and it makes me want to go out and buy the shit i'm gonna be 100 percent brutally honest with y'all so, um, yeah, I definitely have another huge curl coming up. It's going to be all lippies. I think I have a couple of blushes in there and probably an eyeshadow or two or some lip balms or something like that. But it's going to be mostly lippies. So, you guys definitely look out for that. I also have a um, Dollar Tree curl that is coming up. I also have another challenge video that is coming up with me and the juice man well it's not really a challenge more of a taste test type of situation but that's going to be coming up i have another thrift video coming up very very soon so you guys look out for that and here is all the lippies they are definitely dry of course they are definitely dry now this one right here is the actual vamp it up so if i try to swatch it it's gonna it's gonna smear but all the other ones are definitely um as you can see they are definitely doing the thing and i actually grabbed some of the vamp it up and I moved it. So that's what it's doing right there. But um, I absolutely adore these lippies, you guys. If you guys want me to do more of these videos, more of these hurls and things like that, give this video a thumbs up. And I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video. And do not forget to head over to my daily blog channel. Check it out. And um, make sure you give it a subscribe. And again, this video is 100% not sponsored, okay? 100% not sponsored. Talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.